Right, we're going to France. Well, French Guyana, that is. And apparently you don't need a passport. You just, I don't know, swim across the river or something. Time bandit in the fog on the river. Quite pretty, really. Nothing to see today. So after a three hour drive through the jungle, we arrived at the river. That is the border between Suriname and French Guiana. <coughs> I think I prefer P&O from Cali, quite frankly, but there you go. Okay, cross on, cross on. That was me slipping into French there, if you hadn't noticed. Ah, where's the cafe? <laughs> that's, our, that's our captain putting on his Heli Hansen Gore-Tex at the back. That's it. One, one dodgy two-stroke Yamaha between us and an ocean cruise. <laughs> well, it's a living for these guys. Just about here, we're crossing an international border. <laughs> Not that anyone cares. Well, there you go, and that was a luxury river cruise between Suriname and French Guiana on the river. We don't know what it's called. Dot com. Taxi, taxi, you want a taxi? You want a taxi? You don't want a taxi? Do you want a taxi? Taxi, 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 taxi. No taxi. Oh, you're just joking with me. Walking, walking, walking. Walking, walking, walking. Good job, good job. Good job, man. Good job. 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 Thank the Lord. And just a view down the high street and an old building that I don't know what it was. Oh, I should rush over and look at that sign, which I will do after we've maybe had a week lounge the, oh, <laughs> boutique de lingerie. No, we'll skip that. I'll get into trouble. So what's over here? Okay, oh, it's the hospital, L'Hôpital André Bourron. Original hospital was made of wood, no shit. At the edge of the river. Took five years to build in 1907, finished in 1912. Biggest hospital in the French colonies with 400 beds, including inside toilets. Woo! There you go, the hospital. Suspicion it might still be functioning. Anyway, on with the tour. Look, darling, I brought you something back from France. <laughs> ah, De Gaulle. How us Brits loved De Gaulle. You know, sublime to the ridiculous. Yeah. In that town of contrast. <laughs> Hotel de Ville. Is it town hall? Yes, used to be the town hall. Yeah. Made to last. And reminiscent of the gut in St Helena. I guess is this is how they uh, flushed the city back then. And this looks like another Caribbean jail away from home. The French looked over the channel a few centuries ago and saw what the Brits were doing with their penal system sending convicts to Australia and they thought that's quite a good idea. So while they had folk here running the plantations they thought let's ship some of our bad guys over there. 
So here and the islands offshore made famous by the movie Papillon This is where they sent their bad guys Now I'm not one really for sculpture and the like but this one kind of tells its own story So when they said I was going on a Caribbean holiday I didn't quite have this in mind Now we're going to Brasserie Le Toucan Tribute to my old dad whose last boat was called Toucan in the vegetable market They have a lot of watermelons here I think if you leave a bit of ground bare for a few minutes a watermelon will sprout up Some brown things Some white things Ginger L'Oreal Because you're worth it Nice pad for 200,000 euros as long as you can handle 100% humidity and trust me, a long walk to the shops One of the things that always amazes me about travelling as you go from litter strewn streets into the 21st century supermarket The juxtaposition of these two worlds is just amazing I mean really I think they didn't have shops in Suriname So what was the highlight of your trip to French Guyana? Oh le super you Look on the phone Oh god And I'm looking for the duck Who is acting as our guide today has just said oh the restaurant huh? has got to be down here somewhere Somewhere? Well, as Spike Milligan said, everything's got to be somewhere Right, it turns out somewhere is another 15 minute walk So, with a bit of haggling, we've negotiated a ride in the boat down to the restaurant and he'll then take us back to Suriname that's the plan. Look at the letter. Look at the letter. Quick. Just not desperate. Please, it's terrible. There's just no mentality, consciousness about litter, plastic waste in so many of the countries we visited. Make you weep. Clean the doors. So he, take, he takes us to the restaurant, yep. right, right there, and then. Quite easy, eh? With these long clothes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's where we are for lunch. There we go. A reminder of French Polynesia. Best place we've been. <laughs> and here you go, one extreme to the other. So after the fancy lunch, it was back on the boat and back to Suriname. And there you go, a bit of crankshaft for the bow anchor. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Men back on the road for another three hours to the boat. The water splash. Oh, look at this. Uh, rental cars. You can take them anywhere. 
Suriname logging. Suriname pothole. Ah. Suriname petrochemical works. The palm park. This is where they keep the palm trees. So if you're living in Utrecht or Leiden or somewhere like that and worried about how your pension's going to stretch, you come to Suriname and your money goes a lot further. As long as you're good at DIY and painting you'll be okay. And the main drag, the original palisades and crumbling wooden houses. And then this is the Customs and Immigration where we're going to get stamped in and out for the bit of luck. There you go, another little fixer-upper. A few tins of Dulux gloss and you're on the way. This is the military police. This is where we have to go for our passports. Not too vigorous with the stamp. <laughs> it might just give way. You know these John Grisham books where the guilty sit in the old darkened courtroom? Well, this is us. Welcome to our life. And this is apparently the oldest wooden... No, it's not. This is the largest wooden structure in Paramaribo, if not the world. Let's have a look inside. And this is the governor's mansion. It's a busy river here. I'm standing in one of the points of the fort in Paramaribo. And there's this big ship on its way up the river. Going quite fast actually. Oh, it's going with the current. Never seen anything like this before. It's a wooden sewing machine made by the Maroon, the ex-slaves who live up in the jungle. So I've done the museum. The boys are down in there in the restaurant. I'm up on the walkway. And these are all equally old buildings that they are renovating slowly but surely. And so we made our way back to the boat. Hope you enjoyed that video. A look round a bit of Suriname and a touch of French Guiana. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give us a big thumbs up and come back for the next vid, our last leg to Grenada.